Welcome to the new Chess 24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. So, hello everyone to my banter bits today. I haven't had one in quite a while, so I'm looking forward to it. And we already have the first game. He played c4, so I'm gonna go for knight f6 here. Um, yeah, I mean, I picked the game already quite before because we had to do some settings. Okay, knight c3. Yeah, I think I'm going for e5 here. So we have some kind of reverse Sicilian. Okay, I think I can go for c6 now because normally we have this kind of position with knight c6 and knight f3 included. And then, of course, normally that's d5 a move or something. But I think now it makes sense to go for c6, d5 for the center. Okay, knight c6. I mean, I think I can be quite happy with the opening. Okay, rook e8. Yeah, so now it's a question where to go with the bishop, and I'm, I'm probably going to f8. b4, yeah, maybe also bishop g5 was interesting, so I think now I'm going to try and prevent that with h6. Of course, he can go for b5, but I don't think it's too big of an issue for me. I can go like knight b8, bishop f5, and so on. So, I mean, e4 always is a move that I have to think about here. Also, d4 is possible. Yeah, probably actually d4 looks quite interesting, so I'm gonna try it. Knight e4, yeah, takes, but now, I mean, the bishop on g2 is kind of worse than it was. And maybe just a6 to prevent any kind of b5. I mean, after a5, there was b5 and a4. And I don't know, I hope to, like, at some point that a3 will become a weakness. Yeah, knight d1 is a nice regrouping. I mean, the knight certainly belongs to d3 here. Okay, rook c8. Knight c5, okay. So, yeah, I can take and I probably have to take because I would rather give away this bishop than the bishop on e6. And now, okay, queen d6, I mean... Still, I have no weaknesses, so I'm probably just going to try to do something on the c file, like rook c7, rook e8, knight a7. Of course, you can go for b4 at some point, but I don't think this is really bothering me. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue with my plan, fighting for the c file. And now he goes queen d3. 
I mean, I always have this idea of playing b6, then b5, and probably then bishop c4. So that's what I'm... Okay, that's a rook. Yeah, I mean, you just run another rook. So now, of course, the position is totally winning, but okay, we still have to be accurate. I mean, there's at least some counterplay. But of course, yeah, I mean, a rook is a rook. Okay, f6. I can also just take this another rook on f1. Yeah, now there's one, but... Yeah, we'll win the pawns back. I mean, I still have... There's no real attack here, so I think should be w winning. But yeah, I mean, before we run the rook, the position I think should still be quite normal. I mean, I was feeling quite comfortable, but not nothing special, I would say. Oh, we have an FM challenging. That's interesting. So maybe let's try. Knight f3, okay. So, okay, we are going to have some kind of a Slav structure here. I mean, with c6, d5, he goes for bishop g4. Uh, okay. Probably I'm going to take on d5 here. Yeah, I mean, okay, of course I can go for d4 now, but I would somehow like to use the fact that he hasn't that I haven't played like d4 yet, so probably I'm going to try and go for d3 and e4 here. Yeah, I mean, I have to be fast because, in general, like if he would get e6, a6, everything, he would be totally fine. But maybe here I have some chances to do something concrete. Okay, bishop e7. Hmm. Of course, I can go for e5 and so on, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, yeah, we will go for e5, because after knight e7, I have queen g3, and then he can't castle because of bishop h6. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, g6 is not the move you already enjoy. So I'm... It will be interesting to see what he chooses. I mean, g6, then I will take on c6 and go bishop h6, most likely. <clears throat> okay, I can... Okay, if I take on g7, he will take on e5. Okay, yeah, so we'll take on c6. And rook e1, just this way. I mean, still, castles bishop h6 works for me. I mean, I was just hesitating, because then he has bishop f6, at least in theory, but there, I think this shouldn't work. I mean, it looks like it's too much. Again, okay, if castle doesn't work, he has to go g6, which he certainly doesn't want to do, and then I would feel like, you know, it has made some sense what I did here. Okay, but yeah, king f8 also is a move, but I mean, it will be quite hard for him to get this rook out of there. So I will, I'm just now trying to make sure that this rook doesn't really get into the game. So probably pushing h4, h5 just, and then, okay, he will... Okay, he tries to create some counterplay here. I think just b3 is fine. I mean, as long as I protect e5 and I have, like... Okay, so now h4 is attacked. I mean, I can go bishop a3, actually. Yeah, I think that's good. No. Yeah, it's not so easy for him. Yeah, queen f5 is... I just saw this move, and it's quite unpleasant, because bishop before, bishop before, like, I can't defend the knight, and also the rook is fully hanging, so I think I have to go knight a4 right now. But this should still work. I have to admit I blundered queen f5 when playing bishop a3, but, okay, still... No, I think it should be quite good. I mean, normal would be for him to go back to b8 right now. Yes, he also does. I mean, take on e7, and now queen g7, rook g8 is... I don't know, I don't really want to allow that. It's too much counterplay, so I'll just stick like normal play with rook c1. I mean, yeah, I know I can't... Okay, rook g8 is... Okay, I don't really understand, because the c6 pawn will be quite weak, and he will... I'm not sure how he's going to defend it, but we will see now. The c5, but I have rook c2, and now... I'm not sure. And of course, he can go rook c8, but... I don't know, rook c8, queen g5 looks very dangerous. Yeah, here we go. I think now I can take on c5, knight c5, knight c5, rook c5, rook c5, rook c5, queen c5, queen d8, mate. So yeah, I think I can take on c5 here. Yeah, just the king is too weak there.
Yeah, I don't really see a move for him now. I mean, it's just okay, King E8, but now something will be happening. I mean, this is this shouldn't work. Yeah, Knight B7 is winning material. I mean, Rook C2, Knight A5, and C1 is protected, so I'm just winning the Queen. And then it should be quite an easy conversion here. Yeah, and he also resigns. Yeah, I think it was interesting game. I mean, this Queen G3 motive was very important, and then he somehow didn't really find the way to coordinate his pieces. I mean, that was also the plan, but yet yeah, worked out quite well. Okay, so we have another white game. So let's start with d4 this time. d6, okay, knight f3. g6, okay. I don't know, I think I'm going for something with e4. Yeah, I mean, it's a very solid line for black as well, but I don't think it should be the best in terms of equalizing. So I'm, yeah, also just trying to make normal moves. Probably, yeah, okay, I wanted to go bishop h6 at some point. That's not possible anymore, but still, okay, so probably knight e2, knight g3 is a reasonable regrouping. Okay, this is interesting. So he's trying to go king g8, king h7, but... Okay, I think this is, I mean, this really is quite slow, so I will try to like use the fact that he more or less wasted those few tempi. And now push a5. Now b5 is not possible anymore, that's why I played c4 here. Okay, so he really is close to finishing his castle, but still... Yeah, I mean, I can try with d5 maybe. I mean, I just think that this kind of structure is better for me. Like A against C, this exchange is quite good for me. I control the center. I will just have to think of how, like, what's the winning idea or what's the breakthrough idea in this position, which is not that easy. But I mean, from a point of control, which I think I have here, it should be possible to find something. Okay, he goes for D5. That's very aggressive. I think I will just take and go E5 and then the attack should be happening like knight h5 or h4 h5 i think this should be actually already pretty much lost i mean just bishop 7 is quite bad the knights don't really have squares and the attack is coming i don't really see a way for him to defend or also get some counterplay i mean rook h8 is probably a move that defends everything but yeah now i'm already winning a lot of material here i don't even think that i will want to take the exchange I will be trying to mate immediately here. But yeah, probably I'm not gonna manage to mate immediately, but yeah, at least I can try and it's also not I mean the position should be very much winning. Now I can go knight g5 or e6. Okay, e6 is quite brutal I think. Yeah I mean I'm just opening up everything much more taking pieces than defending pieces, and I think now the mate on g7 should follow. Okay, good game. I think, yeah, I mean, the opening was normal, and then at some point, like, F, F, after I got, like, a5, a, b6, and then also e5, or c, d5, e, d5, e5, the position was very good. I see in the Shared the question what my predictions for Nakamura, Aronian, and MVL Westlake for the Speed Chess Championship are. I mean, it's tough. I mean, obviously, Hikaru has had a lot of experience in like fast time controls, so I would assume he's kind of the favorite in this match. MVL Westlake is like also, I mean, I'm looking forward to both of the matches. I don't really know there. It's very hard to predict, in my opinion. And if Nia would have to play against Naka, meaning Naka would win the match against Aronian, I don't know. I mean, I know that Nihal has played this like very speed chess like for a very long time already, and he has a lot of practice, which I mean also shows yeah that he can win matches against top grandmasters, like the top grandmasters in the world. So, but it's very hard to predict. I mean, it's not always about the pure strength in such match. It's also about the dynamic of the match, the openings, and so on. So here I think I got a quite good position. I will be trying to use the 
Drug squared weakness is probably on d6 the most relevant one. So meaning somehow with knight b5 or bishop a3. A goes for d5. Okay, I could go bishop g5 first. Or yeah, okay, I'm going for bishop g5 first. I will try to take the pawn on d5. I mean dc4, knight c6 should be pretty bad for black. Okay, knight d4. Okay, I will go queen. Yeah, but queen b4 is dc4. I mean, this is maybe still rather pleasant, but not exactly what I want. So, I mean, I'm taking cd4. I mean, after dc4, I will just go rook c1, and I think there's no way for him to defend the c4 pawn since b5 is impossible because the rook on a8 is singing. And otherwise, I will be taking rook c4 back, and I think I will have a better position. I mean, this diagonal is quite unpleasant for him, and also I have the center, so it should be fine. Yeah, but they are okay. Here you know, we can take and okay. C d five, e d five, bishop d five, rook d eight, e four. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, some counterplay there, but okay. I'm gonna take the pawn anyway. I could also just start with e three and then queen b three, which should also be like clearly better for white. But I think I can just take the pawn. Don't. Okay, I'll just go back to g two. I mean, yes. Now, of course, I lost kind of the momentum, but at least I won the pawn. I think that's fair trade. So now rook c8, I have two options, either to go for rook c1. Okay, now I'm going for queen f3 for sure. I mean, the end game should be very pleasant, and yeah, now I get this tempo, rook c8, most likely, and then I will have to see what I'm going to do. I mean, because the pawns in the center don't really move yet, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to push like h4, h5. I think it's quite useful. I'm not yet sure how much it will help me, but okay, why not? So queen and game. I mean, it should really be winning, yeah? so I think I can go for it. And now, what's the best way? I mean, I can start pushing the d-pawn. I can also... But I have to be careful with the a2-pawn, so I think I will start with d5. I mean, I'm just... Trying to figure out what's the best way. I mean, the king is quite safe, which is very good. I mean, I blocked this diagonal, the a8, h1 diagonal, quite well. So there are no checks. But, yeah, I mean, the, I think the problem now will be that his king is quite weak. I mean, that's like h4, h5 really was very useful for this queen endgame. Queen d7, okay, that's the passive kind of defense, but I don't think that this has a chance of working here. No, like two central pawns. Okay, yes, of course, f6, but now I can just go, I don't know, queen c3 and advance. Yeah, I think I blundered this one. This is not good. Okay, I have queen c4, though. Yeah, I think queen c4 is still very much working out here for me. But yeah, I shouldn't. I've allowed this probably. I mean, queen h5, d6, and I just think the pawn would promote. And otherwise, there wasn't really a point of queen g4 because I will get d6 anyway, and then. Okay, it's not so easy. But yeah, I think the whole endgame should be lost for black from the start, so it's just that I would have to do something quite wrong to not win this. Okay, so, yeah, now I can go d6, then he... Okay, but d6 has to be good. I mean, queen d5, check. Now something will happen. I can take, actually, the this pawn already if I want to. Yeah, probably I'm just going to take the pawn. I mean, why not? Yeah, now two pawns up, and also d pawn is quite close to queening already, so I think that... Yeah, now just queen c7. Queen e6 probably, but okay, I will find some way. And also he runs out of time, but this position for sure is winning for white. So yeah, I think I got some advantage out of the opening, and then it was like pawn up. Okay, of course, not that easy to convert, but big advantage is always helpful. Okay, so... Next game... 
yeah, I'm just trying to also not always take the same kind of rating range. That's why I searched for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to for Karakan here. Okay, advanced variation. I oh, will play bishop f5, knight c3, e6. So I guess this will be like very aggressive. Yes, now h4, h5, knight e2. Or I think knight 2 immediately, yeah, some, something like this is the line. Yeah, now there are some moves. I mean, bishop h7, I know, is the main move, but... Okay, I don't remember any theory here, so that's... I mean, of course, not the best, but... Okay, what to do? Yeah, I will just take CD for I don't know. I don't want to play any kind of theory here. I mean, it's just that this is not that good for white normally. I mean, it should be around equal, but of course, it's very dangerous if the opponent doesn't know, and that's why I'm like, okay, I don't don't want to take that big of a risk. That I don't know if somehow I don't remember something, or so it could be get quite bad without like any chances. So. I'm not trying to get into this kind of position. Uh, which format do you consider your best blitz rapid or classical? I mean, I think blitz is it's certainly not, but I don't know. I gen I pretty much like rapid, and I think I've also played rapid quite decently in the past. But I mean, classical also went well, so I don't know between these two. But I think I would, I can say pretty confidently that blitz probably is not my best discipline. But it's also not that much worse. It's just that in the past, I would say that in general, my results in blitz were not that good. But I'm also trying to work on it. I mean, it's simply because I haven't played much Blitz in my life. It's not like I've had so much Blitz tournaments, especially on high level. Yeah, so he thinks here, I mean, the position is very complicated. I'm probably trying to play a6 next move. Maybe also something like queen a5. I don't know. Yeah, bishop g5 is normal, I would say. And now I have to find the move because... Uh, I mean, I don't really want to give away both knights, but probably I don't really have a choice. So maybe then I'm going queen a5. So now he could take on e7 and take on c6, but then bc6. And yeah, I also got like quite some time to develop everything. So I think that should be fine. If I get one more move, I don't know. Maybe queen b5 is an idea, but I'm not sure. hg also is always a possible move because simply, of course, like knight on f5 would be great. But since he yeah, always has the opportunity to just exchange both knights, I'm not so sure about this. Uh, general just very yeah so he castles long um yeah i mean i don't know queen b5 knight b5 knight d4 then he now he has the opportunity to take back with the rook which i don't really like but okay, i think i'm going for this anyway simply because i don't want the knight or the bishop to get to d3 and attack the g6 pawn and i think that as long as this is not possible my position should be fine okay so he takes this Okay, it's possible, but I am not really that afraid of it. I think the knight is just trapped, and I think I will also win it at some point. C3. Okay, I'm going to F3 here. But yeah, just the knight is trapped, so I think I will win the knight, and then the position should also be winning. So, and now I can also start by taking on G4. I mean, the knight is not going anywhere. But yeah, bishop C5. Okay, I'm just taking everything. Yeah, he runs out of time, but the position is also very bad by now. So, yeah, I think this worked out. I suppose he had some advantage before, but okay, it's never so easy. The position was also very complicated. So, Okay, 
Okay, we stop with net f3 again. C4. Okay. Yeah, I'm going for b3. We will get to some yeah, rather symmetrical structure, but okay, it's still everything very normal. I think that's just a very important advice for Brits in general, that you just should always try to get some kind of a position you know quite well so that you can play quite fast and don't have to spend too much time thinking about the exact moves. I mean, it's always important to keep quite a lot of time for as long as possible in Blitz, so that's the idea. Yeah, Rook C. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he also has everything under control, everything went where it's supposed to go. But yeah, I don't really know what his idea is. I'm just, I mean, normally at some point I will have to play d4, and I will just have, I just have to think about what kind of yeah, preparations for this move I want to make. Yeah, he goes for a6, okay. I will just... Yeah, I mean, rookie one wasn't that good of a move. Probably I should have rather played something like e4. But yeah, it's not that bad. It's just that I think it wasn't very precise what I did here. Yeah, because now he has d5. Yeah, I think this is very good. So, I mean, e d5, d4, I would have been quite happy knight d5. So, if I go for e4, knight before queen b1, then what's happening? I mean, he has e5 as an option, but... Yeah, he has e5. If I take on d5, he's most likely going to take back with the bishop. And then... Yeah, it's also nothing special. So yeah, I'm just going queen b1 for some profile access, and probably trying to go with e4. So bishop f6, if I go for e4, yeah, I think I should play e4. I mean, knight b4, in the least case, I have d4. I, I mean, e5, I would still have to calculate. Okay, he takes on c3. I don't think that I want to exchange the bishops, so I will take the d-pawn. And then now it's a big question for him, like, what to play. Probably queen c7, yes. Okay, he plays it. And now I have to think of an idea. Because, yeah. I mean, c4 I don't really like. I could try and double on the d file but it's also the question that like how much does it really help me i mean if i play e5 knight e5 knight e5 bishop g2 there's knight d7 e5 bishop f3 okay i'm just going e5 it's i can't calculate everything but i feel like it might work okay he goes back then that's then certainly e5 was a good idea now, i'm not sure it really worked but and if he has to go for this, then it's certainly not bad for me. Okay, now I have the idea of playing bishop c1, bishop f4, trying to stabilize everything. And yeah, probably just run at the pawn on e5. I'm really not playing that good this game. I mean, still now the position is fine again, but just I done that quite a few things already, and Okay, so far it hasn't had like that big of a bad impact, but um, yeah, still the mistakes are not good. Okay, h4, yeah, I would like to play h5 next move. Probably also after knight g6, yeah. I mean, I don't think that this gf structure is bad for me. I mean, it's supporting e5, and I don't really have a problem with my king, so this should be fine. And I also have f5 ideas actually now. Thanks to this pawn. I think I will try it. Yeah, again, I didn't see this. Okay, it's really. Uh, yeah, I mean, queen e1 takes on f5, but then at least I have e6 because rook e1, there was bishop f3, bishop f3, and queen e5, and the position was quite good for like okay at least now i'm not losing a pawn that's something but yeah somehow i never have really found uh 
let's say uh, harmony of the pieces. So that's why I. And now it's going well, but before that was really like a bit shaky. Okay, takes queen e6. And now I will certainly consider trying to play with. Yeah, we'll just go with knight e5. I mean, there really should be happening something bad to his king here. Too many weaknesses on the light squares. And the, like, the bishop on f8 can't do anything to defend. So, yeah. Okay, he lost on time. But again, I also think this position shouldn't be good. Nevertheless, the game really wasn't good for my side. Okay, today I really get a lot of whites, I see. I mean, I'm not complaining, but still. So I'm also trying to play reverse Sicilian. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good if I can get the setup of e3, knight g2, because normally in this kind of structures, the knight is already committed to f3, but here it's not. So I'm trying to use that. I mean, normal would be for him to go d6, yes. I'll probably try to play with b4 at some point. After bishop e6, I always have knight d5 to block him. I do mean to block d5 from him. Yes. Okay, he goes for rook e8. Yeah, okay, I think I can go knight e3 now. I mean, a6, b4 should be fine. Yeah, just in general, I think the knight on f3 is never that good. And now, I mean, normally you start playing knight e1, knight c2, knight e3 just to get to this square. And I mean, now I already got there just e2 and c3. So that's quite good. And I also got b4, so I think I can be happy with the version that I got here. It takes, takes. Yes, okay, he wins the pawn now. But I don't think that's bad, um, because cd5 knight before bishop a3 he has to go for a5 or something like this, and then this is... I mean, normally I won't get back that pawn anyway, and... Then I think the structure is quite good for me because the knight on e7 should be quite bad. So just to think about how to do it exactly now. Yeah, rook b1, rook c8, bishop b4, a b4, knight b5. Probably this way. But yeah, rook b8, I can also go knight b5 immediately I think but it's a complicated position I don't really know who's playing for advantage you know? but okay now I'm quite happy take 6 I just rely on the fact that this knight on e7 is not that well placed okay, e4 I don't know I will try and go knight b5 I mean now e3 queen d3 I can be happy so I don't really see a problem and I think here he runs into this pin, and there's no way to defend the knight, and I win the piece. That was my trick. Yeah, I don't really see him before him now, and he also resigns. But I think before that, it was quite interesting. I mean, instead of f5, rook c8, then the fight is, I would say, fully open. Again, white, okay. Knight f3. Okay, I will probably try to go for 80 now. So with g3. And, okay, I mean, d4 is, of course, like, normal main move, but <clears throat> maybe I will try to play something else. Okay, I think this works. Now h6, cd5. Queen c6, 
queen d5, knight d4, knight d4, d3. Yeah, looks fine. Why not? I mean, I'm winning back the piece, and that's... Okay, for knight d4, I can even think about queen c2, but then bishop f5. No, okay, I will not try to. Okay, queen a4. Yeah, queen a4, there's queen d4. Okay, I will just make, the, make it the normal way. Not try to get into some weird stuff and not get the piece back. This would be quite bad, so... Yeah, I think here I'll get the piece back for sure. So, of course, knight f2 is a move, but okay, I don't think it's bad. I have rook f2 and I'm developed quite well. Okay, yeah, bishop e6, but now I can just go bishop e4 and I won the pawn, so that's good. And I don't think that I mind exchanging the queens. I mean, being pawn up, that's not bad. Um, I'm going for bishop e3, probably trying to attack c5 with rook c1. Also, now knight d2 will be coming with tempo, but I wanted to develop the bishop first, because otherwise the knight on d2 would block the bishop. So, okay, knight d2, taking that tempo. Now rook c... Okay, rook fc1 or ac1, I don't know, but... Probably also doesn't really matter. Okay, knight bishop d4, but yeah, I can just take and take on b7, rook b8 check, and then go for b4. And I'm already two pawns up, so the position should be winning, but of course there's still some conversion to do. Okay, let's take, go for knight b3. He has to play with bishop f6 normally, yes, but now I have knight c5 and I will go with, oh, with rook c4. Then just rook a c1, and okay, I think... There's pretty much no counterplay, and then, of course, with two pawns up, you will win at some point. Just getting the pieces active, improving the position slowly, and this will be enough. Knight of King, but okay, I think I can just exchange everything now, so take on c7, take on f6 with a check, take on e7, and I'm just end game with two pawns up. Okay, I lose this one, but I think the pawn will queen, so that's not the problem. Yeah, I think it was a solid game, just got a quite good position out of the opening. Of course, I know a3 shouldn't be a good move, but still it worked out quite well. Let's also play one game with 3 plus 2. I mean, for me, 3-0 is also totally fine, or I would even prefer it, but I understand that also for some people, you know, increment is good not to do some flagging or so. So I'm also going to change it a bit. Okay, as always, you know, I'm going to wait a bit and then see, like, maybe change to a new game. Yeah, okay, I think it's time to change. Then, okay, next game. So, also to play one Sicilian here. I mean, it's very normal. I think g3 is a very solid setup for white, so 
mean, normally it's just to wait with black. I mean, if white plays a4, then you go for knight c6. And normally this is why white waits for knight b7 to go for a4, because now b4 is a bit weaker than normal. I mean, bishop g5, of course, has the idea to take on f6 to weaken the d5 square. But I think with the knight on b4, this is not a real problem. Because, I mean, the knight defends d5 just well. a5 yeah probably i'm going for rook c8 i mean he has a rook a4 but after knight c6 the a5 pawn might be quite weak but yeah we will see in rook a4 knight c6 knight d5 knight a5 knight f6 gf6 I think it's good for me yes of course gf6 is not the ideal structure but i believe that it's not I mean, he can't really exploit this weakness. It's not like the knight is coming to h5 anytime soon. Yes, of course, queen a1 is good to defend, but now I have knight d4 because c2 is a weakness. He goes back to d1. Yeah, of course, he has to defend everything. I think it makes sense to go for queen c7 just to put more pressure on c2. But it's also not so easy to see what my plan is. So, yeah, I have a quite good position, but I still need to figure out how to break this setup from him. Okay, f4 is quite. Aggressive. Okay, if I go queen c5. Yeah, I think queen c5 makes sense in any case. And then I will see what to do next. Ah, but I can take on e2 now. Yeah, queen e2 and df. So that's a problem for him. I mean, knight e2, c2 is saying this is bad. Queen e2, I will take on f4, and then I will win a pawn on c3, which is also quite bad. I mean, queen e2, there's also bishop c4, even I realize now winning the exchange. So there are quite a the number of problems for white here. Yeah, I think f4 also felt like pretty much too aggressive. But yeah, then I knew what my threat was. Yeah, my threat after queen c7 is knight e2. After queen e2, there's bishop c4. After knight e2, there was queen c2. So probably then something like rook e1 was the right choice for him. <clears throat> Okay, so knight e2, queen c2. Now we'll take on d1. I mean, rook d1, there's bishop b3. Yeah, that's... I mean, now it should really be lost. I mean, I think it was lost before, but now I'm also winning, like, material clear advantage and then it's always easier to convert down some kind of dynamics here. Just I will win. I'm already exchange and pawn up and b2 is very weak. That is not good. The bishop on g2 is solid but doesn't really do anything bad to me. So yeah. Okay. Yeah we'll just take the pawn, why not? Of course, he can take, like, he will get the b7 pawn, but this is not really an issue. I mean, now I'll just exchange one light skirt, one piece, and then it's too much material. Yeah. Okay, it went well for me, the opening. Again, this knight d4 move, I think, was very important. And then there was too much pressure on his setup, and it somehow collapsed. Okay, so I think he also is not there, so I will choose the next game.
Okay, again, back to Carol. I'm going for Light of Six, of course. Bishop of Five is the old main line, with, I would say, thousands of games, but this is also quite modern. I mean, normally white tries to not put an of three and do something like bishop d3, c3, queen c2 to force me to play h5, h6 because I'm castled and then h7 is singing. So that is normally the reason why this setup was considered not to be that good. But okay, this is of course also very solid for white. Knight d5 is most likely going to go bishop d2 and then c4 next. Okay, I will try to play with a5. I don't really know. I'm not sure. I mean, he got quite a good version, so I think I misplaced something or missed some chances, but okay, it shouldn't be too bad yet. Yeah, no, I like A can do anything. Yeah, like rook e1, queen c2, queen d2, rook c1, everything. I mean, I have the idea of going with a4, so I also need to still develop the bishop from c8, probably to f5 or a6. Yes, now oh, maybe to g4. And yeah, okay, if I get to play a4, I'm gonna do it. It's just not that I'm threatening anything immediate, but I think in general it's useful and it's also quite a bit annoying for white. Okay, queen c3. I mean, queen d7 would be normal, so I just don't really like the knight on b6 here because it doesn't really have any kind of perspective, but I will be trying, I will try to work on that. But it's also hard to find a good square, like even if I have the choice to put it somewhere, I wouldn't really know where to go. Okay, I think I will try to play with f5 and f4, because this is like the only way I can think of to break the structure, or to exploit the fact that he has played with g3. Okay, he goes f4 himself. Yeah, this makes some sense, but I think that this is also a weakness. So let's see what to do. Okay, I'm going. I have to regroup this net. At least now on e4, there's potentially good square. So that's where I'm going. H3, bishop H5. Doesn't really change anything, I think. I mean, I just have to back that at some point. Let's say I will play AB3, AB3, rook A1, rook A1, knight E4, knight E4, F4, and then with G4, bishop G6, F5, now he could trap my bishop. So that's something I need to be careful about. He goes for B4, okay. I think I'm going with bishop G6 because now knight E4 is an idea again, and also I want to be able to play with H5. I mean, now at least like the knight really has a square, so I think this is this idea at least worked to give the knight a square. A three, h five, that's fine. Okay, he goes h for himself. I mean, I can could go knight e four now. Yeah, that's also what I'm going to do. I mean, just takes, takes, and then, I mean, he has all this weakness, probably on g4. I mean, it's not easy to do anything because the position is very close, but I think, like, if someone is better, it should be black at this point. So rook d8, d4 is hanging. 
Rook d1. Yeah, I will somehow have to try to do something with the bishop. So bishop f5. Maybe bishop g4. I, I just don't know how to break through right now, but I will have to find some way. Maybe with rook g6 and sacrifices, but okay, I will have to think about it. I mean, I also still have quite a lot of time on the clock, which means that I don't have to be like in that big of a rush. Okay, I'm going for rook e8. Yeah, I'm trying to go with rook g6. I thought about d5, but I think right now here I could go for rook d6. And then that's fine. Yes. Okay, of course you can take on c6, but then at least something gets open. And I think opening up the position is not bad for me. C5, I can just check on d5. I don't really... I mean, that was the whole point, that this works for me. And it also seems to work. Yeah, now I won the pawn, and that's quite progress. Okay, queen comes to g6. Yeah, I mean, it worked out well. Just slowly improving the position, and... Okay, I think now, soon, White's position should collapse. Yeah, bishop b5 was good. I didn't, I mean, I now saw this, but too late. So, okay, I have to take, and what do I do now? Now we'll go queen f6. I mean, endgame is good, so why not? He goes there, I have rook d7. And now I have queen d8, okay, so I think queen b8 was better, because then after queen d8, there was queen e5, now bishop b4, f rook e8, and I win. But because of the pin, that was the idea. Okay, it was a quite hard game, I think at some point. I mean, the position was normal throughout the whole game, and then, of course, after winning the pawn, I think d5 probably wasn't a good idea, but also before, at least, I made already some progress, so the position improved. But yeah, it's never easy to make some progress in positions like this. Okay, so I see he doesn't really move, so then I will again choose another game. Okay, so this also didn't work. Then next try. Okay, are we on a streak of on of three? That didn't work, but okay, maybe we will have more luck with the next game. Let's see. Ah, okay, so now finally we also like start see some moves. Sicilian again. B3. Okay, I don't know. I don't really know this move, so I'm just trying to... Okay, but B3 and D3 together it can't be that dangerous for me. So I think I can just develop normally and everything should be fine. I mean, D5 here isn't really that big of a weakness, so... 
Okay, castle. Okay, I will give this check. I mean, I think endgame's totally fine for me because I'm kind of worried that he will try G4 and G3 and try to mate me. So if I would make exchange, that's this chance is gone. And now, yeah, I just need to solid play solid. Get D5 in at some point. That's for sure the idea. Maybe, yeah, this bishop needs to be regrouped. So that's what I'm working on right now. And we give the check. D3. Okay, if I go, yeah, I can go D5. Why not? I mean, that was the idea that if I would have played D5 immediately, then E5 was saying, now if check, the bishop is blocked, then I can simply play D5. King C2. Okay, I will use the chance if I get to put my knight on F4. I think it makes sense to so use this. Of course, now bishop f1 should normally be played and rook d8, but I think by now the position should simply be better for me. I mean, all my pieces are well placed, the structure is better for me. I have good outpost on f4, weakness on d3. Also, this like bishop f1, rook on h1, of course, isn't very good constellation. B5, I'm just playing to prevent any kind of knight c4. Maybe also I have the idea of playing b4 at some point to get control over the d4 square, but I don't think it's necessary for now. Okay, knight g2. Okay. Bishop d5, knight... Okay, I can go bishop d5, because I said knight f4, bishop f3, there's four on both rooks. Otherwise, it's not so easy for him to make a move. Of course, yeah, something like knight d1 is possible, but now there's not even a real next move. So I can just go something like rook e8. Okay, rook h2. I mean, I think now he'll just go back with that and all those pieces are completely wrong placed. And knight e3. Yeah, this is a bit annoying, I have to say. And now I need to move back, but at least I will have the knight of form again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going for knight e2. I don't know if it's good, but it seems like an interesting move. I mean, I have to study of going for b4 now. Okay, rook d2. Ah, okay, he's running to knight d4 check. That's beautiful. I mean, takes, I will take with the pawn. And then... Yeah, it's not clear, actually. Okay, I will take on d2 then, and I will also get back my piece. And here I'm winning this pawn, and I'm also winning the exchange, because bishop d3, and now this rook is trapped. Which is quite fortunate for me, but anyway, the position would have been very bad, but this way it's already quite easy to win, I think. Yeah, okay, let's take on d2. Take on d5, okay, go rook d8. And now push c4. Ah, okay, now I can, ah. Okay, I wanted to take on d5, but then there was knight d5, knight f3, and knight h2, knight h2, there was knight e7. Now that there's no knight e7 fork anymore, I can simply win the piece with this tactic and also win the game. Yeah, I think this was, I mean, the opening went well, uh, pleasant position, and then it's going quite well. Okay, so, Bogo Indian.
e6 yeah now i'm just playing a3 normally you know he should take on d2 but then i always believe that it's kind of a nimd so queen c2 with tempo up so i think i can be quite happy Okay, he takes and yeah, I'm probably gonna take with the queen. Then e3. Then probably I'm gonna be trying to play with b4, or if he plays with a5, then with b3. Okay, c5, that's interesting. Okay, I always think opening up the position if you have the pair of bishops is fine. So I'm taking and then going for b4. Okay, if he castles, I'll just go bishop e2 or bishop b2. After knight c6, there's always b5. I think I can d5. Yeah, it makes sense to do this, but I think I will take cd5. And now it will be interesting to see what is he planning on him. Because knight d5, I think there's bishop b5 check, which should be a problem for him. Mm, I mean, e d5. I wouldn't, I mean, nobody likes to play such a move. Queen d5 is possible, but yeah, okay, he goes for bishop d5. I think still bishop b5 check makes sense. And I will just castle now. I mean, probably bc5 was interesting opportunity, but yeah, I mean, now his position is quite solid. Something like rook bait or castles. Looks pretty much fine. Okay, I think I will go a before. I mean, I could have played queen before to prevent him from castling, but after rook b8, this pin I don't really like. I mean, here I will just play with the bishop pair. Always, of course, bishop f3 is a move, but I don't think it really hurts this double pawn. So, okay, I'm just going back to e2. And I will play with bishop b2 next move, most likely. Yep. Okay, I don't really understand the sense of a6 yet, but okay. I have to defend the pawn on b4, so that's why I'm going here. Knight f6, I think it, it's good to go knight e5 now. I mean, of course, the dream would be to somewhat get the knight to c5. This would be great. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Knight is on its way. Of course, I can try to go for f3 and e4, which is also taking away a lot of squares for many of his pieces. But this is also already quite good, I think. I mean, rook c5, bc5, bishop g2, c8, d6, I don't think there's anything. And here... Okay, this pawn is hanging. Now, simply, all of my pieces are on the right squares. Also, I'm pawn up, so this... Should be very good for white. Yeah, he ran, ran out of time, but I would say position is at least close to winning, probably already winning, and also very pleasant to play for white here. Okay, so d4 we have here, knight f6, c4 e6. Okay, we have Nimtso Indian with bishop g5. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know this line, so I'm just playing 
what comes to my mind. I don't know, like Bishop G5 doesn't look too dangerous as long as I haven't castled, so. But he goes for knight B5. I think I should play D5 here. I mean, it's now getting quite complicated, but... I'm trying to play for direct ideas. I mean, interesting was CDE, the bishop f6, and then queen f6, there was knight 7, and gf6, queen d5, and f queen d5, knight c7. But the queen e5, there was bishop e6, and of course, he has spawned up, but I'm very well developed and might have some compensation. Now I will take on c3, knight c3, and d4, which looks quite good, I think. Okay, knight e4. I will go for e5 here. I mean, it's just that, like, I don't know, something like knight f6, gf6 looks good. He has problems with development. I mean, otherwise, white would have also quite good position, but I think this way that I'm quite many tempi up, I can do something. Of course, now he has the idea of, I don't know, playing with bishop e2 and e3, but still, I think that there should be some issues. Okay, bishop h6, yes. Bishop e6, most likely he's going for e3 or e4. Now what? I mean, rook g8 is actually quite interesting, I think, because I'm attacking g2. Also, maybe threatening something like rook g6. E D4, okay. I mean knight d4 is very tempting. Like to play the knight on d4 if you can. You would you like to do that? I mean it's um very active. Of course, yeah. I mean, again, his position should be totally fine if it wasn't for his quite bad development. So I will go queen e7. Idea is to go long castles after bishop takes a d4. Here I have bishop d7. I don't think that's a problem. I mean, he has to go back to d1 because otherwise there's going to be a very nasty check on c2. And then I will go for bishop c6 and then long castle. It will be following. Or long castle first. I don't think this actually matters. Probably I'm going for this first. And yeah, I think now it makes sense to go bishop c6. I mean, d4 I'm sure was also very decent for me, but I don't know, for some reason... I feel like this might be even better. But yeah, g2 is a very weak point and he doesn't really get to castle anywhere. Still, the bishop is on f1, stuck, and we're not really able to move. So I think, yeah, position should be very, very good for me. I mean, as long as I didn't blunder anything and I don't win the piece back, but at least until now, I don't really see how that's going to happen. Okay, so he sacrifices the queen. I mean, it's possible, of course, but also shouldn't be too dangerous for me because still he's not developed. I mean, it doesn't fully solve the problems. But of course, now I also have some kind of potential problems with my king. So what am I going to do? I mean, I think I'm playing queen c7. Forcing him to play bishop e3, and then I will play f5. Yeah, I think that was good, because otherwise, if he gets, I don't know, c5, bishop e6, I'm feeling kind of unwell with the king on c8. 
queen c7 if he would have played c5 there was queen a5 check winning the bishop otherwise there was b6 stripping the bishop that's why he had to go back f3 yes of course but now i'll go f4 e4 break the center and i still think you know this bishop 1f1 still hasn't moved and this will yeah turn out really to be quite a big issue in the game i mean this is the way i planned it and i think that at, at least until now it worked out very well for me okay bishop d3 sure why not but queen e5 looks good and simply he doesn't get to consolidate the position i mean even if he consolidated the position might have been bad but this way it's just lost okay, this one is hanging and now rook moves f3 the pin yeah i mean the king stayed in the middle for the whole game and of course then has no real chance of surviving Okay, knight f6, c4. Um, and probably yeah, knight f3. I mean, it's something of a tricky line. I've never played it and never really looked at it from the white side, but I just felt like, okay, it might be interesting to play it. Okay, of course, if he plays normal queen skip it, then this doesn't help at all, but... I mean, for people that play, I don't know, Miran or with C5, it's at least an important move order. Okay, I think normally here you're supposed to take with the knight, bishop b7, queen e7, knight e5, ed5, and that's like a very classical position. I think this way I should get some advantage. Yeah, because the bishop 1b7 is simply like not active enough. I will have the opportunity to go with knight e5 and everything. Go for the attack. Once so yeah, just bishop 1b7 simply won't really get into the game. I think that's the problem. But okay, we will see. Yeah, I mean, since we're already getting rather towards the end of the Spanter Blitz, you can also now challenge Bullet, meaning 1-0 if you like. We'll also accept now Bullet changes after this game. Okay, C4. Okay, I think that's the call for me to start attacking. So we'll play F4. Rook e8, okay. Queen f3. Actually, I'm even threatening knight c4 here. Knight f8. Okay, I mean, I could take on c4, I think. So, yeah, why not? They probably have blundered something, but I don't really see what exactly I should have missed. Um, okay, I will take on b7. Now, of course, you can do maybe like knight g4. 
Yeah, knight g4. Okay, okay, of course. I mean, knight g6 is possible, but this is not really going to be a problem. I mean, now I just won the pawn, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. I mean, I will take, go rook e1, and just try to exchange everything. Why not? Yeah, I mean, being a pawn up, that's, I would say, one of the biggest advantages if you're in material advantage. Not only do you have the material advantage, but also you have, like, normally, most of the exchanges are in your favor. Okay. This is peace sacrifice, but I don't really see me getting back rank made it here. So why not to accept it? Yeah, I mean, the position should simply be winning for white at this point. Of course, uh, black has some pawns, but that's not enough. I mean, just queen d5 check, going to the end game. It's only one pawn for the piece. This really isn't enough. So, I mean, there's no, as long as I don't run the back rank mate here, I, I'm pretty much fine, I would say. Yeah, and he also resigns. Um, okay, I think this game was quite good. As I said, again, I don't think ed5 is normally the right way to play, but of course, it's interesting. Okay, so we have this line again. So they are really trying to test me in terms of theory here. I mean, okay. Knight f4 first. Okay, this I don't know. Which either means that I should know it and I just don't know, or it means that it's not that good of a line, which I hope. But we will see. Yeah, because now like twenty four f nine e seven, I will get to play with a six, and of course h four is still very much possible and everything. But it's not like you know I get this one tempi. That I normally shouldn't get. If he starts with H4, then I have to react immediately. And now I have one tempo more to react, which I think is a quite big problem for white. I mean, now we'll also win E5, the E5 pawn. So, yeah, I don't think Knight F4 is normally the move. I think H4, as I had already in the previous game of H5, Knight F4 is not the right move order. Okay, I'm going for B5 here. I think this queen will. Yeah, of course, this was already the only move, but I don't really see the compensation here. I mean, I'm just going queen d7, if I was saying, of course, queen ff check was also possible, just going to the end game should be winning too, but I mean, e5 is hanging, so there was also no real reason to exchange queens. Okay, but I mean, now the bishop is not trapped. I always have e4, also c2 is singing. so yeah, I mean, I'm just a piece up, g4 and c2 are both hanging. I think the position should be winning. Okay, h5, bishop e4. Okay, I could have taken on c2 too, but... Okay, I don't think it's that important here. And he also resigns. Yeah, the position was bad. I think this was more or less an opening problem. So why not? Okay, so let's give Virtue also another chance. Okay, this time we can start. Okay, so it's bullet, which means that I have to be quite fast shouldn't be spend too much time explaining everything talking about everything and not move i mean that's not good okay so yeah i think i got a good version simply because i got to play bishop d3 in one move and his bishop is still only seven normally it's the other way around and 
like white wastes another tempo <clears throat> to get the bishop to d3. No, no, the position is quite interesting. It's rather complicated, I would say. But I think I can be quite happy. The queen on b8 is kind of out of the game. Of course, they have the issue with the e4 square, but okay, that's, I would say, part of the deal when playing f4. Okay, this I still need to find a plan. Yeah, I will go for DC flat now. But anyway, and now the time he's too low on time, so I think this will decide the game anyway. But still, I'm trying to make good moves. Yeah. Okay. Now the position is also already quite bad because d4, queen, g3, I think the attack is very strong with bishop e5. I could have won an exchange already, but I think queen g3 just uh, attack is very hard to defend there. Basically, I didn't even see a defense. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a little bit and then switch to the next game. Okay, so then next game. Okay, so some theory here. Okay, so now we got the structure of a exchange slot, but with the bishop on c8, so I think that's quite good for me. I will just try to go for a rather tr maybe cheap tricks on this diagonal, but I think it can be quite serious, nevertheless. Yeah, rook to seven probably doesn't really help, but it's just a nice move because, I mean, that it's even possible, but probably doesn't really help too much. Queen c7, there was knight f7. Okay, now there's knight f7 too. Well, because, like, bishop g5 freed the seventh rank. And now the position is also winning, going on the g7 pawn. Mating. Okay. Okay, I mean, I see also still more people challenging 3-0, so then we'll play one more 3-0 game, maybe. Um, Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to like accept three challenges, meaning that I should only play against the same person one time for one banter. That's also what I'm trying to do here. I mean, of course, it can happen that by mistake, I accept someone twice, but normally I'm trying to do that. Okay, again, I should change and search for a new game. Okay, <clears throat> here we go.
Yeah, no, so now we get the weird version of Grunfeld because I spent two Tempi playing first E3 and then E4 instead of E4 immediately, but in exchange, I got the Knight to C3 without him being able to take it. So we have some kind of special situation. But I think it's quite a good version for me. I mean, now if I don't have 6, the d4 pawn is not that weak. So I can just castle, go bishop e3, and so on. No, now d8 has to be played, and then h3, I think I can be already very happy with the position. I mean, the light squares are getting very weak. I mean, just those knights don't have a square at all. This bishop has huge issues, and yeah, I would say, I mean, if you ask the engine, the position should already be lost, I think. But of course, in a practical game, it's never as easy. Um. Okay, now I can go d5 and win the piece. Okay, I'm just going to take the piece. Yeah, bishop f5, g4, just tripping the bishop. So I'm going to be taking that piece. Okay, he gets two pawns, and then his pieces have some squares, but still. Okay, this is even better because now h g5 just d7 is saying and I get the piece for free. Oof. Okay. This is, I think, f5 was very aggressive, but okay, the position was lost anyway, but now I'm going to win even more material. fg4, I can take on e6 and on e5, and after rook f6 or king f7, I will just go bishop f3, a8, I can threaten to take, and also e5 is hanging, so that looks very good for me. Yeah, and he also relents. Okay, I think here again, opening was quite a big problem. So we will have another Karokan here. Yeah, I think just this net of six variation is easier for Blitz, so that's why I'm choosing it here. Okay, bishop e3. Okay, so he's gonna try to castle along here, but I don't think... I mean, normally you try to castle along with bishop d3 and knight e2. I think this way it's not that good. I mean, I could, not, I could even already take on a2, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this one. I mean, this guy is not getting trapped, and then it's just a pawn. c4, f, b5. And now I'm threatening knight c4. I mean, getting the bishop would be good, I think. Yes, okay, the position is already very good here. I mean, I got his bishop. I don't think this attack will go anywhere, especially without this bishop. And then, okay, it's quite pleasant, yeah. Okay, I can just go rook e8. Why not? I don't think that there's any real threat. Okay, I can... No, okay, I'll give this... No. Okay, for the bot giving the check, king b1, and then what to do? Probably just a5. And trying to mate. Okay, of course you can go knight b2, but... Okay, knight b2 is a quite sad move, because... You know, you don't really like doing this. Okay, king b1, I will go bishop d5 first, attack the rook, rook moves somewhere, and then I will go a5. 
proof the idea of playing a4. Okay, here I will do the same. Bishop d5, next move a5, proof the idea of playing a4. And now I'm going for a4. And I think just the take is too strong. I mean, that's what you see. Yeah, you know, it's not proof h3, g4, but it was simply too slow. And okay, here I'm just already crushing. Queen d3, a, b3. He can't even take back because of bishop e4. Okay, yeah, this is, I would say, pretty much over. But yeah, that's the danger, you know. If you cast a long move white here, it can really go wrong. So it's dangerous for both sides. But yes, yeah, you can see, it's not only that you will just attack with white, but you also have to be careful. Okay, if I find one, like... Okay, I think this is it for today. Thank you all for the games, and thanks for watching. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you, maybe in another Banter Blitz. Bye. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls, or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world, fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app. Okay, so let's send a challenge. Ah, here is challenging. Nice graphics, easy to see. Oh, what are you thinking about? You're looking how it can be the most painful? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. fine. <laughs> that I give him up a phone. He wants to be even rude. Welcome to the new Chess24 playing experience. Play in light mode or dark mode. Choose from a range of time controls or create a custom game and get paired with players from around the world fast. Enjoy a polished playing experience while making moves on a fresh, responsive board to claim your victories. Train and improve with over 80,000 puzzles. And that's not all. Download now and discover what more you can enjoy in our brand new app.